Welcome to Sculpture Studios. This year's festive project, we're creating some reindeer. Only this job has a bit of a twist. We've been asked to make some human figures, but with reindeer heads. And this is for Annabelle's in Barclay Square in London. We've been contacted by Christopher Hammond Davis, the creative director at Wood Brown Limited. We've spoken to Christopher several times in the past over previous job concepts, and here we finally got the go-ahead to work together on this occasion. The figures are going to stand around 6 foot tall, 7 foot towards the top of the antlers. Do female reindeer have antlers? Well, unlike the majority of the deer species, most reindeer females actually grow antlers, and they shed them at different times of the year. Obviously not this time of the year for this young lady, as she's going to have her antlers decorated with ball balls for the festive season. She's going to be wearing a long blue dress, and the male figure is going to be wearing trousers, a shirt, and a blazer-like jacket. We're only doing the carving side for this job, as Christopher has his own creative team for the painting side. After blocking out from polystyrene, the facial markings are then plotted, and the material was taken away using nail and wire brushes. For the finer details, Aidan's going over with a stonemason riffler, and then he goes over with sandpaper to get rid of the rough poly bead. The figures are going to be carved in what's known as a semi-relief, and this means it's a cross between two and three dimensions. This is often done if only the front of sculptures are going to be seen, often pieces that are either going on a wall, or so people can't walk behind them. For a job like this, where there's a quick turnaround time of around two weeks, this semi-relief is also handy, as it means slightly less carving is involved. Though there's less physical work to do, sometimes it takes a little more working out mentally to create a nice balance between two and three dimensions, so a good eye for scale and angle is always needed. The bodies are going to be semi-relief, with the heads and the antlers being the only parts that are going to be completely 3D. For a job like this, where we don't have a model or a 3D render, and we've only got a 2D concept image to work from, we often gather our own reference images, so we know what the piece will look like from all angles. Often a bit of creative interpretation is needed to create that desired effect for the client. We're now going to go and join Aidan for a bit of downtime and a bit of light jazz. Here we have a... This is the female. Behind we have the male figure. As you can see here, just blocking it up. The female sitting on the ledge. So we're only closing half, stepping out and closing the other half. And the whole idea really is um, is there is semi relief except for the, the actual head, which comes out in full 3D. Using a nail brush, nothing sophisticated, just some nails and a block of wood. Can't really buy them, just, just make them yourself. And just start scratching, but when you think you've got proportions, and there's some rough image drawn on there, you're only going to take the front of the, the display away, like in the very end. But it's really just a way of seeing some sort of reference before we start. I like carving, a bit of a laborious act sometimes, like sanding down or rubbing a car or, or whatever you happen to be up to, but um, I like carving because my mind can go elsewhere, and it's quite, uh, quite therapeutic really, so if I could have a chance with the telephone off and no music and just carve, it's great. Mind you, I've been listening to some French tapes and some Spanish tapes, and I've been learning French and Spanish as I'm carving, I can just repeat back and there's nobody to distract me, so I'm doing some work and I'm learning some French and Spanish at the same time, so, good. Backboards are being cut from pieces of MDF, and the polystyrene figures are then given a layer of jesmonite. This is so the polystyrene has more of a solid layer to be painted onto, and so it can withstand being outside for a longer duration of time. Once we'd finished our work, Christopher had the figures decorated, and he's had them flocked and then artworked, to give them that real furry texture. They're then transported to location. We think they really do the concept image justice for a start, and the great feedback we got from Christopher means that we're happy they were well received. Please feel free to leave any comments below, as they're always appreciated, and hit the subscribe button for our latest videos. You can like Sculpture Studios on Facebook, and for more of our work, visit sculpturestudios.co.uk. 
Also, please enjoy our new and improved outro shot with a little message from our client. Thank you very much for watching.